mensaje, presagio para el funeral. I'm Jay. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV Velocities in Music. Guys. Uh, first of all, best kept secret in, mu in music reviews. You think yeah, so? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. um, today, we're gonna review an artist that we are not entirely familiar with. Mm -hmm. And we kind of how did we hear about this band? Uh, someone left a comment on our our nice. YouTube. Nice. That's so see, guys, when you tell us what you're listening to and what you think you got, think we should check out and like and things like that, we totally read every comment and um, definitely take note of it. So mm -hmm. um, this album is by um, uh, a Spanish artist. Uh, uh, Argentinian? Ar Argentinian yeah. artist. Okay. It's in Spanish. Okay, we're gonna try this now. <laughs> you guys, just help us out here. Take it with a grain of salt. I haven't, it's been like eight years since I've taken mm -hmm. any Spanish. Lisandro Ariste Muño. 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 Yeah, I think Muño. That's... Yeah. And the album is called Mundo Amphibio. Yes. Which means Amphibious World, which actually is a really sweet album title. Actually. Yeah, and there's lots of cool theming when you actually sure. do translate, at least yeah. for us English-speaking folks. Yeah. Um, there's lots of animal themes, and, yes. and, and, and yeah, it's very consistent. So, in that so regard. how would you describe this sound, Tom? This is a oh, task man. for us. It, it is, because this guy, he has on this album a very wide range of styles, wide range of sounds. I mean, you get... You get uh, a lot of kind of acoustic sounding guitar, very pleasant, very nice. You get some more intense parts. You get some guitar solos. You do. You get some electronic beats, some sampling, um, some stuff that sounds more like Radiohead, Hail to the Thief yeah. type, type beats and bass lines. Uh, but then you also get some more like Gautier style, just very... Uh, very honest and very upfront and artistic arrangements and performances. Yeah. And I think you hit the nail on the head there comparing it to Gautier. Yeah. You know, um, it, th the main word I would use to describe this album is eclectic. Yeah. Um, there is a variety of styles presented here mm -hmm. um, that range all over, you know, pop to Latin to, you know, just indie rock in general. Mm -hmm. And I think that, 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 you know, they do a great job of capturing that, you know, mm -hmm. of, of, of really presenting these unique ideas in a, in a very listenable format. It flows extremely well as an album as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and in fact, you know, the, let alone the guitar solos and all the instrumentation, but all the cool electronic effects that are fitted yeah. to the music too, I think I think is, is actually exemplary in how you would incorporate yeah, it. Oh, absolutely. And, and as I've said tons of times before, and here, if you've ever watched this show before, you probably know this already, but I love when people can incorporate those electronic elements and make it still sound organic somehow sure. because he's got plenty of nice real sounding strings drums all that so the electronic elements really enhance that yeah yeah totally and and one thing blew me away was mm -hmm. the vocals oh definitely and, and although i couldn't pick out every word that the guy was saying yeah i really enjoyed just the vocal presentation i thought he made great vocal parts i thought his presentation mm -hmm. was just out of this world good i was kind of blown away by that and, and what was amazing to me is even though i couldn't understand the lyrics mm -hmm. i still felt such a connection to the music and yeah. i thought that showed really really talented songwriting definitely and you know you, you touched on this a little bit but let's jump in a okay. little bit to the language barrier let's do it because listening to this album i really loved all the music but it really did i know i was out of my element and it did a good job of having me learn really what role lyrics play in music listening yeah because that element was out of it i mean listening to this i was like ed in good burger yeah when he's reading that contract and For he sure. goes i know some of these words <laughs> you know, that was me i'd pick up a i'd be like oh oh animal I know that word, you know. <laughs> okay. um, but but you know, really, all that you can do for some for a listener like me and and you, I'm sure, um, you can pull out these these familiar concepts and themes, but you don't have any context in which to place them. You know some of the words he's saying, but you don't know exactly how he's using them, and so it makes for a really interesting listen. You know what I mean? No. All artists should conform to English. <laughs> that is our language. Oh, come <laughs> on. Oh, come on. Hicks. <laughs> but I, I really, it, it was it was a learning experience for me in that regard because I, I didn't no, really I know totally what to say agree. I time. totally agree. And, and it just did, it was kind of just a self-reflection of, of yeah. something I've kind of pontificated on before and that I think a lot about. Um, it's just that I, lyrics don't really play a big role for me um, until later on into the listening experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to get attached to the music before lyrics really start to 
to matter. Uh -huh. So, I mean, if you're big on lyrics, if lyrics are like your number one thing, um, you know, this is probably something you're going to want to avoid. However, if you just like good music that's well written and well presented, or even good vocals that are well written and well presented, mm -hmm. check this out. This album actually has a lot of really, really good qualities to Definitely. it. Definitely. Um, you know, I did find, though, like, that it, it, it wandered around a lot, probably yeah. a little bit more than mm -hmm. my liking. Um, yeah. And just because of that, um, I, I felt like it's going to be hard for me to attach to one cohesive unit or song of sound you know I, I definitely agree um, because right when you do start to like something he's doing he switches, switches it up yep. um, which is cool from an artistic standpoint um, in the creation process but then when you're listening to it it does make it a little difficult to attach yeah. to and I find, found myself liking a few of these songs a lot mm -hmm. uh, but then when I was through uh, well and actually I liked all of the songs yeah, there sure, wasn't a sure. bad song I, I totally agree. but it's just when I get to the end of the album there were only a few that really stuck out to me that I really remembered right. uh, and the rest was just an enjoyable experience but nothing that really stuck with me. Nail on the head, man. I'm going 78 on this one. 78? I'm going to go 82. All right, so we're going to average out to 80. That means it's a good album. You guys yeah. should definitely check this one out. Um, I'm sure most of you guys haven't heard this before. Um, go check it out. Tell your friends about uh, you know weird stuff like this. This is how we, we pass good albums around is uh -huh. by telling telling our friends. And you guys, thank you so much for, for you know your support of this band and putting their name in our YouTube comment box because that's how we get feedback from you guys. And you guys are huge about this. So YouTube comment www.youtube.com slash velocities and music or you know www.velocities and music.com we do have our own website has every single review we've ever done mm -hmm. um, you know and, and it's kind of just a good archive of everything VIMTV yep. um, also Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. That is where we do all of our talking with our fans, um, and you guys obviously are a huge part of this. So thanks for watching. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV, moving music critique forward. <laughs>